Okay, my name is James Andrew Whitlock, and this is the seventh problem in problem set eight, the parallel plate capacitor field. And it's asked, a parallel plate capacitor has an area of 4.03 centimeters squared. And the plates are separated by 1.2 millimeters with air between them. It stores a charge of 470 picocoulombs. What is the potential difference across the plate to the capacitor? Okay, so first of all, we can use this formula right here, and then you can break it down and to this. A, it's hard to record while writing. Okay. So now E is or is always the same. And it's gonna be eight point eight five. Get my paper will not stay down. E or times ten to the negative twelve. Okay. So now you put that right here. times the area, which is 4.03, but since we need that in meters, so we're, we're gonna do, or not meter, oh, whatever. We did, we're gonna have to convert that over. I got to divide it by the distance, which is 1.20, but it's got, we're gonna have to convert it also to meter. So there you go. And I'll put that in our calculator right here. E to the negative 12 times to the negative fourth. Divide that by 1.2 E to the negative third. Okay, so you, then we get this number right here, and that will give us C. So C equals 2.97 times 10 to the negative 12. Separate that. I got to use this formula now, which is Q over C. And since we got Q earlier, which was 470 pictocoulombs, but we need to convert that to just coulombs. So then we're gonna just use that times 10 negative 12 over what we just got, which was 2.97 times 10 to the negative 12. All right, and that's gonna equal B. So then let's put that in the calculator. 470 E negative 12. You can just divide it. I don't know what the heck I can do. Okay, so then divide it by 2.97 e to the negative 12. And that gives you the voltage is 158.25. Try to put that. Oh, my bad, I wasn't pointing at it. 158.25 volts. Okay, so now the next part is gonna ask, what is the magnitude of the uniform electric field in the region between the plates? And so since we at a voltage, we're gonna have to use this formula right here. And then we're looking for E. So just do a little bit of switch around. Then we plug in 158.20. I'm sorry, I'm trying to point towards it there. Um, and we use the distance we had earlier, which is times 10 to the negative third. And put that in the calculator. And we already have that in there, so we'll just divide that by no, 1.2 E to the negative third. And that, uh, that gives us E equals 1.318. I'm sorry, I'm trying to, it's so hard to record. There we go. 29, and the units for that is volts over meters. I'm trying to put that bigger. 
So that was the first hit. I mean, that's the second hit. And let's make sure it's right. Yep. And then this is the first answer, which is we'll write it out again 158 plus equals B. There you go. And I don't know why it's being blurred. There you go. And that is all for problem set uh, eight, question seven. Thank you.